taking class is almost like a religion. It's going to church and it must be respected, you know, in the ballet studio. Not so much for the, the teacher or for me, but for the tradition of dance. I would say that the teaching here has not so-called gone into the modern time and maybe sometimes criticized for that, that it's old-fashioned. But funnily enough, I'm very happy to hear that because I think it's a heritage that dancers today should know and experience it. Even if they have to go on and do more modern choreography, I still think it's good that they have this basic training. And from a basic training, you can do anything else. Tradition is something very important in a classical dance. It, you, you must have a foundation in order to improve and build. You're so fragile to injuries. You know, at any given moment, you know, people would always ask you, what is the span of a career? You know, there is no any particular time. You just take it one day at a time and you go as far as you can. In general, you need to be very strong to be involved in any form of performing arts. As an individual, you have to believe in the things you do and just go for it, then hopefully you're right. <laughs> it's logic, it's simplicity, it's strength, it's purity to the classical dance. It's one of the best, not one of the, it is the best studio I have ever been. And uh, I have been to a lot of studios <laughs> in New York. It's the best method of teaching that I found. It's not only a passion, but it's a way of life. No matter what stage of your life or the stage of technique, a beginner, you just want to try to study ballet. They are dancers who were professional dancers, and some of them are of a certain age, like myself, who still love dance and they still come to class. There are students who wanted to dance when they were very young, but their parents wouldn't let them. And now they are starting, and it's wonderful to see the interest they have in it and the progress they can make. They're coming to learn an art. I wanted to be better. I wanted to see more and expand in my form. I want to be the best at what I do. And New York certainly has provided this opportunity for me in many ways. I personally love New York. I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's an amazing city. It's a city of dreams. There are many people living here and there are many, many talented people living here, you know, and everybody has hopes and dreams to make something out of it. And the best one probably do, the best ones. People who take dance are usually dreamers, aren't they? And if you have a dream, do it. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a professional dancer, but there are many dancers who were told, no, you can't dance, who went on to become renowned choreographers. And if you stop that, the world is maybe missing a great talent. If somebody wants to dance, how can you stop them?